Welcome to the Live Out Loud Vault Tutorial. My name is Mike Eilertsen and in the next two minutes I'm going to show you how you could have secured an item out of the Live Out Loud Vault. The Live Out Loud Vault is part of the Live Out Loud Experiences application and it is the part of the application that allows you to secure high value items at a fraction of the cost just by logging in on your cell phone, tablet or computer and I'm going to show you how. So the first thing you're going to do is just go to your taskbar on your cell phone, tablet or, um, or laptop and just type in liveoutloud.co.za and from there you can navigate your way to the vault quite, uh, quite easily. So we've landed up in the Live Out Loud vault and the first thing you'll end up seeing is these are the two items that are going into the vault today, a titanium item and a gold item. And if I want to read a little bit of more information about those, all I'm going to end up doing is click view item over here. The big thing is that let me first see what is going to be going in over the next little while. So I click in the showroom so I can plan my week, be able to see what items that I'm specifically wanting to go in. And the first thing that I'll end up seeing is that uh, tomorrow there is going to be a Cruises International, a titanium item going in, another pen going in, a platinum item, a, a balloon a safari going in, and a gold item at the bottom. Members who are gold status can only go for gold items. Platinum items, people who play in the platinum status can go both for platinum and gold items. And lastly, titanium uh, players can go for titanium items, platinum and gold. Now if I want to view a little bit more information, I click over here, view item, and I can end up seeing that I'm getting a 2,500 Rand pen for only 625 uh, 25 Rand. I can read all the information about this item over here by clicking more information. There's some of the basic information. And if I want to go to the website to really understand the brand a lot better, um, this is where I would be clicking over here. At the moment I'm going to go back. So these are the two items that are going to be going into the vault today. So I would be going login putting in my username and password, as you can see it already remembers me, I've been in the vault before, I log in and generally the vault would be empty before going in. The titanium item that you'd be arriving here, the screen would be blank, but for the purpose of this demonstration we put two items in. As you can see, because I'm only a gold status member over here, I can't go for the titanium item despite it being in the vault already. But because I'm a gold status member, I can go for this. So I'd go active play now, it would have just appeared in the vault moments before this. I immediately click active and I try to get to the buy button as fast as I can. By clicking the buy button it opens up the payment gateway immediately and, uh, and I'm under time constraint. Immediately you can see over here there's only 1 minute and 20 seconds left for me to fill out my credit card details to secure this incredible item. So I'd immediately be clicking trying to get my details in as fast as I, as fast as I can, be putting in my credit card. Uh, name exactly as it appears on my credit card, uh, getting these details in, time is ticking, I'm uh, under huge amounts of pressure to secure this, uh, secure this pen and uh, click, click the terms and conditions and confirm my purchase. If I got all this in correctly, it'll give me a, a successful purchase screen and if not, I would be kicked out and as you will immediately see if I go back over here, all other players are locked out of the vault, they cannot go for that item, they weren't fast enough as it gives you the message you were not fast enough. So really this game is about speed to be able to secure those items. It still gives you access to the magazine, um, on the 30th you'll be able to get information on the Emporium and being able to do your, your various shopping items out of the Emporium aspect and client entertainment, these are where you can end up booking your future events. What is nice about the new vault application is you've got something called purchases over here. And purchases will allow you to track any purchase you have made, when it expires, if it's been delivered or not, when its delivery date may be. So I click on purchases, as you'll see I've uh, been unlucky in, uh, in my purchases, I'm still to experience the thrill of the vault. But the nice thing is for any player throughout the year, whenever you have a successful purchase, it will appear on the screen what the item was, the value that, uh, that the item was, uh, was worth, what you actually paid for it and uh, if it has been delivered, when it is being delivered, or when that voucher may be potentially expiring for something like a luxury holiday. So that allows you to control all that aspect. I hope you enjoyed it from here. I'm gonna log out to be able to see what is back on this side of the vault. And uh, yeah, give us a call if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching, best of luck, and see you in the vault.